in the last section we have seen that we have changed the offset that means the port in which key clock is running is 8180 at the moment instead of 8080 so if you put 8180 it is running in this port right so that is what we have changed so basically if you type here local host 8080 and auth it should not run isn't it so that is what we have done the changes in our last section and not only that along with that what we have done is we have overridden the wildfly server with the key clock yidc wildfly adapter and we have taken this and we have overridden in the wildfly server now the next step is we are starting the wildfly server so what we need to do is we have to go to the wildfly okay we are inside wildfly we have to go inside the bin and now we will be starting the wildfly server okay so how to start wildfly server it's again a simple process stand alone okay stand alone dot bat so if you type this it will kick off the wildfly server so let us wait for a moment uh, to start this up and then we will check that at which port this is running okay we will wait for another moment so basically we have the client adapter in place we are just kicking off the wildfly server and remember when you will be running this before that you have to install the adapter that we have done in the last step and during changing of your offset remember to close your wildfly server or key clock server sorry that is the key clock server in the first place and then restart the key clock server and then you will not face any problem so that is just a troubleshooting tips to you remember that okay now that it looks like it has already started we have to register the wildfly server okay now how to register it i will show you before that i want to hit the server and check what is happening over there so what i do is i just remove this i just enter localhost 8080 now at this point in time you can see that localhost 8080 wildfly is running so wildfly application server is running your wildfly instance is running on this particular port so few minutes back we have seen it was not running and we have also seen that earlier it was running on port 808 the key clock was running on port 8080 but now wildfly is running on port 8080 and key clock is running on port 8180 and how we have done changes is in the previous section so you can just have a quick look on that so change the port and then we are ready to register this now to register this we have to come to the key clock server after you come to the key clock server you have to go to the admin section so you just type here admin once you type the admin what you will see is you will be again going back to the administrative section there what you can do is just type your administrator and the password you need to type and you should be able to log into the server so once you log into the server in our case we are dealing with the demo realms where all our users has been registered and now i will click on the demo realms once you click on the demo realm what we need to do is we are registering the client isn't it so to register that client we have to click on the client section so in the client i have already added it but you guys can also see 
that you can create a new one so if you click on create it will be allowing let me click on the create so you have to give the client id over here so what is that client id for us for us the client id is vanilla i have already added but i am showing you so you need to type vanilla over here because that is the vanilla application which we are going to show in this particular demo and you need to add here vanilla and you have to give the root url the url on which the vanilla application will open so you have to type here http slash slash local host colon 8080 slash vanilla la so once you type this you need to click on the save and it will be saved i will not save it because i have already saved it so i will cancel this and go back to the screen so once you add that what will happen this will be added okay the vanilla uh, client id so this is the vanilla client id which i have already added now okay now the next step is but just before that what you would like to do is because you are adding a url which is vanilla let us type that okay so i will type vanilla so you will be able to understand what we are trying to achieve here so once you put this local host vanilla it will give you a page now this can be a full application page or whatever it is your angular application your javascript application your uh, spring boot application or anything which you have designed it can be react it can be anything in the front end but what we are achieving here is we are decoupling the login so once you click in login what we want to do is we want to attach this with the key clock rather than this one really having a own database application database or an ad authentication directly triggering or an ldap authentication or an auth mechanism or a federated mechanism everything if whatever it is you want to log in you have to attach this with your key clock and that is what key clock is achieving here okay so now you know that a vanilla application has been given through the client adapter for the wildfly in the getting started material and i will give you the link also for that so that you are not at all confused but we need to understand the basic idea what we are trying to achieve here okay now once you go back here click on vanilla if you click on vanilla what you are going to get is you are going to get a link like this where whatever you have attached everything is showing okay so your local host vanilla has been already attached now you just need to do two more things you go to the installation tab here okay what you need to do is you need to select two things from here one is the key clock odi json so this is the one so this is the json which you need to copy not copy i will say you download it okay i have already downloaded that so i will not uh, download again and you have to save this file as keyclock.json file so mostly you have observed that there is a uh, section where i have kept it already saved so keyclock.json so I have kept that saved in my local directory. I just would like you to show that what it is containing. It is containing the same thing what you are seeing here, right? So you just need to save that in this directory. So the authentication mechanism is getting. So where you are saving it? You are saving inside the key clock, okay? In the key clock root directory, you are saving it here. Hmm? So once you save that sorry i have to go back yeah so once you save that the next step is um 
you have saved uh, you have downloaded it from there and then saved it right now you have to also do one more step there you have to choose the xml part of it key clock ydc jboss subsystem xml what it will do i will show you again so you again download this and save it in the xml format where you have to save it again in the same path go back and you can see key clock ydc hyphen subsystem it will save it there okay so what are these what connectors are these maybe i will be discussing shortly uh, in a later chapter but here we are doing the hands-on part of it so we, let us not go in details of the theory part of it now modifying the wildfly instance is our next target so let's move to the next section and then do that okay